Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Today we're going to be talking about an exciting software release from Ubiquity that is going to make a lot of MSPs and home users happy. The release is the Unify OS server. Just like the self-hosted network application, the Unify OS server can run on Windows, Mac OS, or Linux hardware. Now what are the benefits of using the Unify OS server? For starters, any gateway will be able to leverage the SiteMagic SD-WAN, which we haven't been able to do up until now. We also will be able to use the Centralized Update Manager, Global Admin Tools, and Unify Identity. With this release, we can also use Unify Interspace, which if you haven't seen, they now have a 3D floor model, which is really cool. And one of the biggest things to MSPs would be the ability to do multi-site, and Unify OS Server allows that. Now what we're going to do, we're going to get Unify OS Server downloaded onto my Windows machine and we're going to connect a gateway fiber and see how it all works. So let's get started. To get started with Unify OS Server, we need to go over to the release notes to get the download links and I will leave the release notes down below. At the time of recording of this video, it is still in early access, but once you see this video, it should be in release candidate. Scrolling down to the bottom, we can see the download links and choose which one you're gonna use it for, either for Windows, Mac OS, or for Linux. I'm gonna choose Windows. With the download complete and opened up, it says choose your installation options. Please select whether you wish to make the software available to all your users or just yourself. I'm just going to have it for myself for this video and we're going to press next. Now it's going to tell us where we want our destination folder. This is fine for me. It's in my programs and I'm going to click install. The installation is complete. We're going to click finish and it's going to run the Unify OS server. Now with the server up and running, we need to set up the server and sorry for the flashbang. There is no dark mode for this, but you could give it a name. I'm just going to leave it at the default and press next. Once we press next, it's saying to create a UI account. You could also proceed without a UI account to do local account if you wish. I'm gonna sign in to my UI account. A few things on this screen that you need to be aware of when you're signing into your account. This software is licensed for personal and organizational use only. Resale, redistribution, or commercial exploitation is strictly prohibited, and then you need to agree to the terms and service. The next step is asking you to restore from a backup, but since we're creating this brand new with a gateway fiber, we're gonna continue without a backup. Now it's gonna take a few minutes, it says one minute left to set up Unify OS. Unify OS is now set up, and you can see that my UXG fiber is ready to be adopted. I do have this plugged into a WAN connection. If you're gonna be an MSP using multi-site, You'll also be able to do the set and form commands to be able to point to your server. But seeing as this is local, I don't need to do that. If you want to see a setup in something like Digital Oceans, let me know it down in the comments below. But what we're going to do, we're going to click to adopt. The UXG Fiber is now adopted in our Unify OS server, but let's go over to Unify Site Manager and see if we could see this. All right, I'm within my site manager and we could see the UOS server is available. I'm going to click over on our network. You'd see the Unify OS server icon in the top left hand corner, but if you want to do multi-site, we need to enable that. So we're going to go down over to our settings wheel. From our settings wheel, we're going to click on system. And then from system, we're going to see site management and we could do multi-site. Hovering over the eye icon, it says use multiple logically separated sites to manage groups of devices in site configuration. So we'll check that off and then we're gonna apply the changes. With multi-site management now selected, we can see in the left-hand corner that we have this site switcher. Currently, this one is on default, but if we click on it, we could add a new site. So I'm gonna click add new. I'll call this one YouTube test. And if you wanna import another site, you can do that right here, but we're just gonna press add. Now under the site switcher, we could click there and we could see that we have default and then we have YouTube test which has zero devices connected to it currently because I haven't pushed any devices to it. But if you do have multiple different sites, you could direct what devices go to what site. Now back under the default site, if we click on cyber secure, we could see our protection and we could update to the cyber secure if we'd like by Proofpoint and Cloudflare. We could also enable everything that we could do on like a UDM Pro Max. So we have content filtering, ad blocking, region blocking, encrypted DNS, and so on and so forth. But let's see if we could connect this to Site Magic. I'm over on my Site Manager and I selected the Site Magic. I'm going to create a mesh. So I'll click on Mesh and then we'll get started. We have to choose a minimum of two sites, and one of those sites has to have a public IP. 
The other site could be behind double NAT or CG NAT or whatever. So what I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick my main Mac Telecom network, which is called Mac Telecom Test. And then if we scroll up a little bit to the top, we're gonna be able to see default Unify OS server. Now with those two selected, I could press add and I'm gonna have two of them talk to each other. So we're gonna do my default network on my Unify OS server and it's gonna talk to the default on Mac Telecom Test. And once I do that, we're gonna press connect. With the site magic up and running between my Unify server OS and my UDM Pro Max, I'm gonna try to ping my WAN switch that is on the Pro Max. So ping 192.168.10.77 and we are able to hit it. So the site magic does work with Unify OS server, which is really nice to see. Also with the Unify OS server, we could now take advantage of the update manager. So we're looking right now on Unify OS and I'm in the update manager, but we could also update the application and the devices that are connected to it. Lastly, for any site that is within your Unify OS server, you could go ahead and you could install Innerspace so that you have that floor plan within each site to be able to visualize what maybe your Wi-Fi heat map is. And that's gonna be it for this video on the Unify OS server. And I think this is gonna be great for MSPs. I use cloud gateways right now, so I don't really need to worry about that. And I'm gonna continue doing it. But if you're an MSP and you don't want to use one of the cloud gateways, this will give you a big advantage. Also within the release notes, it says initially it will support the Unify network application and Innerspace. One thing I would like to see is Unify Talk being introduced into this. Right now with any of our consoles, we could only have about 100 Unify Talk devices. It would be nice to have on this server or if Ubiquity hosted their own Unify talk in the cloud, I think that would be nice. Let me know what you think about Unify OS server down in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.